Good morning. <laughs> wow, it started with one click this morning. Usually it takes two. <laughs> anyway, today it, I have an exciting message to bring, although it's certainly a paradoxical message, as you will learn in a few moments. The title is Ninth Wave Anonymous Exposes Elite Establishment. And little blurb that I wrote is at last a powerful ninth wave of genius brings the hidden elements to light. They call themselves anonymous and they have the attention of the rich and powerful that operate the world's criminal enterprise called government. The works of darkness will be brought to light. It is the divine agenda. <laughs> You've heard of WikiLeaks in the past. Well, now it's anonymous. I only was made aware of it yesterday, last night in fact. And it was one of the most exciting videos that I've seen because it does have the attention of the mainstream media and it is exposing, as I said in the blurb, the hidden things, the things that have been hidden for a long, long, long time of how the world operates, and it is a criminal enterprise. It's a criminal enterprise at the corporate level. It's a criminal enterprise at the religious level. It's a criminal enterprise at the government level. It's a criminal enterprise in the courts. It's a criminal enterprise permeates, that literally permeates our culture, and it's born of an ego, of a human ego that sees itself as separate. Folks, get it straight from the onset. We are the ones that are responsible for the darkness running amok, because we have chosen in our very lives to run away from that which is dark, which allows it to remain hidden which allows it to remain a parasite that sucks the very life out of our culture and out of our human experience. It makes for the fear that comes up again and again in our lives individually and in the world. And we try to run away from it. We try to get away from it. We try to protect ourselves from it instead of looking it in the eye with a voice and a, and a wisdom of love. Yesterday I talked about being honest to God and telling the truth. Well, the truth has to come out. It's our truth. I told my truth and I will continue to expose my truth. As spirit exposes it to me, I will own it because that's my job. And that's the job of all the light workers as I see it all of the light workers is to start telling the truth. Among the elite, I am convinced there are many that are coming forth as whistleblowers. I believe that Anonymous is probably made up of a lot of whistleblowers in every level, in law enforcement, in government agencies, in high up multinational corporations, in, in, in international banking, in, in the international world religion of Catholicism. All elements are going to be coming to the light and being exposed. Now, one thing I went on the, on I guess what it was the anonymous website, and they did say this in the video, which is the only thing about it that's disturbing. It said, we will never forget, we will never forgive. Whew. That last part, we will never forgive, is really, really playing with fire because forgiveness is essential to the healing of the of the elements that they're trying to expose if we if if there is no forgiveness there will be no transformation there will be no change there must be forgiveness those that have those that are operating in the elite circles and and sitting in the ivory towers that have thought themselves to be untouchable and unreachable they have manipulated the world with fear, and now they 
are being brought to a place where they have to feel the fear and the terror that they have tried to wreak upon the entire world. It has been a, a game plan to create terrorism, to create acts of war. This has been part of the elite plan. We need to understand that. But we don't need to be in a position where we look at them, at the human beings involved and we are unwilling to forgive them. If they are willing to come into the truth and into the light and tell the truth, if they are willing to do that, we need as light workers to be willing to look them in the eye and recognize ourselves in the elite. Recognize our own ego in the elite. Recognize that these elements that are being revealed in the world, that are being exposed, these elements are part of every one of us as a human being. They are part of the collective. It is not separate. This ninth wave is about universal consciousness. It's about unity consciousness. It's about the awareness of the interconnectedness of all life and all manifestation. That's what it's about, folks. That's what this whole thing is culminating at. This is the apex. This is the completion of it. This is the last day of the, of the fourth day in the ninth wave of the evolution of consciousness. Tomorrow starts, I think, I think tomorrow starts the, the, fir, the, the fourth night. So there's going to be, this is going to be a summer of exposure. This is going to be a summer of major breaking events. The news media is not going to be able to sit on its duff and hide the things that are happening. They're going to be so massive. The elite's not going to want it to be done, but, but those that have been in control are going to find that there's power rising up within the people, and it is the divine will of God. It is the will for the people to be free. It is divine will for people to be free and liberated at last. This is what's happening right now. This is what's being exposed right now. I also watched a video yesterday of all the around the world UFO sightings. This will increase until we have first contact, until we have national and international admission that we are not alone in the universe, that there are realms and dimensions that are imposing and impinging. When I say imposing, that, that's perhaps not the right word, but they are impinging upon our consciousness more and more and more as the people become aware that there are dimensions to us. We are multidimensional beings. There are dimensions of us to us that are being exposed and revealed. Everything that has been hidden is being exposed. The works of darkness are being brought to light. And folks, we have operated under a criminal conspiracy because of our ignorance. Because of our ignorance. And it's because of our enlightenment, because of our awareness and acceptance of the truth of our reality. Forget the illusion part. It is the reality that we experience. That's what I was trying to say in Honest to God. Because it appears, because of the corruption, it appears that God is dishonest. That God is corrupt. But it's our image that has become corrupted. It's my image. It's not God. I'm I'm not afraid to submit myself to a God who has, who has real omnipotence, who has real omniscience, and is not afraid to use it. But how does God do that? He's doing it through groups like Anonymous. He's doing it through WikiLeaks in the past. And it's time that we make this known and we stop hiding it under a bushel. We stop living in fear that the establishment knows what's going on. Anonymous knows what's going on in the ivory towers, folks. Nothing is hidden anymore. Nothing is hidden. And yet, that does not mean you are not safe. This is the safest thing that could ever happen to the human race because everything is being exposed. There's no longer any hiding place left for the works of darkness to succeed and conspire against life. And it is a conspiracy against life itself. And it cannot it cannot and it will not survive. But 
But I say again, the attitude of those of us that are awakening must be one of forgiveness. It must be one where the olive branch is held out, where we recognize that we are not separate from those who have perpetrated the atrocities upon the human family because they have governed with our unknowing and ignorant consent. Understand that they have derived their power from us. Have they abused it? The they? Have they abused it? Yes, but they are us. We are the abused and the abuser, both. We are the victim and the victimizer, both. We are the enemy and the ally, both. They are us. We are the demons. We are the angels, both. Understand, it's no longer either or. It's both and. That is the consciousness of unity. Both and. I am both this and that. This is the way it is. You say, Ron, you're getting emotional. You're getting passionate. It sounds like you're angry. No, I'm excited. I'm excited to the very core of my being when I see evidence, physical evidence, evidence in the, that's, that's known and, and broadcast, not evidence that's hidden. Hidden evidence isn't evident of anything. It's just the same old game. But when it starts coming to the light, like this anonymous video showed, and when I see the, the rebellion in the streets of Spain, of 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 Athens, of I mean, Greece, and of uh, Northern Africa and the Middle East, and it's going to happen all over the world. It's going to happen. This is the summer of the re of the revelation. This is the apocalypse, the revealing of light, the revealing of truth, the revealing of all elements of the underworld. That's happening on a personal level in our individual lives. It may, it may make you squirm and feel very uncomfortable. It, you may not know how to handle it, but it's happening in individual lives everywhere. And it's happening in the collective. All over the earth, everything is being exposed. It's an exciting time. It's a really, really, really exciting time to be alive. This is what we've waited for. This is what we've come here for. We've come here to stand together as one, as one in unity with all men and women who are willing to step into the truth. And those that are not, we are not here to destroy them. We are here to bring them to a place of enlightenment as well, that the whole world might finally see and know the truth. And the truth will piss you off at first. And it's okay to feel the anger, to feel the rage that, that we have been deceived so long. But then to know that we have deceived ourselves, which is how it has happened. It did not happen in a vacuum. It did not happen by accident. It happened by design, by divine wisdom. It happened so that we would understand the depth, so that we can then experience the height of the ascension but we cannot ascend without descending and that's what we, that's where we've been in our conscious human experience that's where we have been now the conscious human experience that was unconscious is becoming conscious and the super consciousness is impinging on the subconsciousness and bringing them into alignment with each other so that they are one this is what's happening in 2011 this is the ninth wave in the evolution of consciousness, and it is the most wonderful thing that could ever happen. You need to be thankful, and you need to be forgiving. Thank you, Illuminati, for giving me the chance to wake up, for giving me the tools that I need, for forcing me to learn when I've been apathetic and lazy, when I've wanted to stay in my ignorance. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to love. This is forgiveness. We must not be in unforgiveness, but forgiveness, folks, because that is what will heal the world. Namaste. Thank you for listening to my excitement.